All right, so here's my 84 250X. I have the engine out. I'm going to get repaired. Should be done in about a week, but meanwhile, I think I'm going to try to change the shock oil and the front forks. I um, just want to make a little video because I like to do that. Um, so first thing, I think you got to take these off, and there's air pressure in there. Let that out. Pop these bolts off. Probably pry it a little bit here. Should drop the fork tubes out. And then I think what you're going to have to do is take these off. Get the axle out there. On this side, it should pop out of the axle over here. Normally it's kind of a bitch on these dirty old machines, so hopefully it'll come out easy. Okay, so here's the fork out. So it takes 12 millimeter. Um, right here, kind of spread that apart with a screwdriver and pull it out. I had to take the headlight um, thing on. And remember when you're taking this off, I think I might have bent my axle a little bit, damn it. Might be able to straighten it out, but it's a 17 millimeter bolt on this side, but remember to pop the brake um, bolts out here so it wouldn't let it come out. I don't know, hopefully I, hope I didn't bend that, but I don't think I did. Looks okay. But it came right out once you Remember to take these bolts out. Okay, so one other problem I had when I was doing this, this bolt here I ended up breaking off. You need to take these um, two nuts off before you try to take these bolts out of the triple trees because then it doesn't allow it to come out. So I did snap that bolt off, but I got a new one. That's a new one there. Um, yeah, so I forgot to mention that. All right, here's another suggestion for you guys. Um, I was trying to get this top cap off here, and it was just in there so freaking tight. I ended up having to use the air ratchet, and that actually got it out. But when I had it in the vise, it um, you put it on there with a rag or whatnot and try to turn it off, and it was just turning the fork on there, and you just couldn't get it off. So what I ended up doing is putting it back into the triples then using the air ratchet to air ratchet it off and that actually got it off without messing up the fork tube at all so I would probably go ahead and just before you take the tubes off pop that top thing off with the air thing on it so then once I got that off here's the big spring that came in that was in this hole first and then this little one was on top of that and then it has this there too so I don't know if it's supposed to have these two I guess maybe it's not like the one I did on my 250ES, but now I'm going to drain the oil out, and it looks to be like it's pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff. I'm going to do this with one hand. It's kind of... And this just takes automatic transmission fluid. That stuff looks pretty nasty. I'll probably put just a little bit in there and let it sit and pump it out a couple of times, try to clean it. I'm not going to replace any sills or anything that aren't leaking. I just know that's probably 30 year old transmission fluid in here, so I just figured I might as well change it while I'm waiting for my motor. Okay, so I put the shock um, back in here and tighten these bolts down. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this air ratchet. It's a 22 millimeter on the top here and just stick it on. See if this gets it off. It wouldn't, I couldn't get it off in the vise. That one came out way easier than the other one. Sweet! Alright. So I definitely take these out before you take at least loosen them before you take them out of the triples. All right, so I got my shock in here, rinsed it out a few times uh, with clean fluid and dumped it. Let's it upside down for a while. So here's the about 7.15 ounces of automatic transmission fluid I'm pouring down right now.
Okay, and you're going to want to cycle the shock up and down, make sure it's getting all inside there. Don't do it too fast, it'll splash out the top. Make sure, try not to get air bubbles, I guess. I don't know how else to do this. I did it on my other one, it seems to be fine. Things just seem to be real smooth. Okay, and the other part here is the big spring. Go ahead and bring this up to the top. Get this bad boy in here. And there we go. A little spacer washer thing. Top spring. It's all the way down to the bottom. I like this back thread this until you hear it click so you don't cross thread them. There we go. All the threads. That's about 25 pounds on the torque wrench. Tighten this. And you want to go to no more than 10 psi of air pressure on this. I did the other one before and it way overfilled it, so this is just a little bike pump I had laying around. Seems to work better. You use the air compressor and it freaking just really overfills it. This thing does not take much air at all. So that so this thing seems to work quite good if I get it on there, right? Before I went all the way up to 10 and it freaking maxed out my 20 pound tire pressure gauge for the quads and now this one I last time brought it at 5 and it maxed it out too so put it back up to 5 and then get the correct pressure in there this bad boy out. You want to do this without it on the bike. Ooh, too much. Shit. So let's get that to 10 pounds. 